Today, we are at the UK's largest cemetery. We're gonna have a look at it. Let's go. This is the London Necropolis, also known as Brookwood Cemetery, and it has been here for quite some time. Let's go over some of the history and let's just see what it's about. Now owned by Woking Borough Council, has been here since 1854. And back then, it was known as the London Necropolis Company. When this place opened on the 13th of November, 1854, they offered three classes of funerals. A first class funeral was about two pounds and 10 shillings, which is about 260 pounds in today's money. This would let you choose anywhere to be buried and was expected that you'd install a permanent headstone. If that was a little out of your price range, you could go for second class, costing around 85 pounds in today's money. And if you wanted to put a headstone, it would only cost you an extra 10 shillings. However, you wouldn't have full choice over which plot you could use. Now, if you're a pauper, you could be buried at the expense of the parish in a designated area for that parish. Back then, mass graves were forbidden except for next of kin. And these pauper graves were more dignified compared to some of the options at the time. The cemetery gets its name from the local town of Brockwood, which has history going back to the year 1225. The name Brockwood could mean a small river through the forest. If you wish to visit the cemetery, there is an adjoining train station. Over 230,000 people have been buried here since it opened. Brookwood was one of the few cemeteries that allowed burials on a Sunday, which made the place very appealing for actors and the poor, which means they didn't need to take the day off work. You'll have to forgive my poor voiceover of myself there. It turns out my mic was in the wrong setting and it captured all kinds of weird audio. And if you're wondering why I'm not letting the natural sounds take over, here's why. Yes, it was very wet and it had been raining a few days prior and like really heavy rain. So I expected it to be like this. But you should 100% come and check out this cemetery. Just check the weather before you pop by and dress accordingly. So if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to, because I'm trying to bring you more interesting places and things around. I had to cut myself off there because I'm running out of time in this video. Believe it or not, I still have to go through some notable people buried here. Um, I've chosen a few names. There are so many to go from, but I've just chosen a few. The first burial at Brookwood with a permanent memorial was that of Lieutenant General Sir Henry Goldfinch. Buried on the 25th of November, 1854, he was the 26th person to be buried in the cemetery. The ones before remained unmarked. So Arthur Schuster, who's a mathematical physicist in plot 56. Kershid Hassan Drabu, the first Muslim judge in the United Kingdom in plot M4. Rebecca West, author and reporter in plot 81. Sarah Eleanor Smith, which is the widow of Captain Edward J. Smith, the captain of the Titanic, plot 32. Horatia Nelson Johnson, granddaughter of Lord Horatio Nelson. Carol Gibbons, musician, plot 124. I've decided not to go and show all the graves of these people mentioned, um, just out of respect. If you want to check out any of the names I've just mentioned, Brockwood Cemetery has a website where you can like look up this in detail. It also has maps as well. Uh, I probably haven't done this place justice by showing how big this place is. It, it's like it's split into north and south. It's really, really big. I suspect you could spend hours there just kind of like exploring. And did you know at least 21 other burial grounds were relocated to Brookwood, some as late as 2020. This is mainly due to construction works happening. This is an active cemetery. You can find more information about the cemetery on their website. Thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's been a very short one, but I just want to show you Brookwood Cemetery because I find it quite interesting. And that is the kind of content I want to keep making. Interesting videos. That's the theme. It might seem random. Goodbye.